All right. So, first thing we want to do is to edit your zone.io profile. Head over this menu, edit my profile. And let's start filling it up. I'm going to give you an example to fill up all your details so your profile is ready to be searched by the thousands of Salesforce organizations looking for talents just like yours. First things first, fill up the personal details and skills. This is the most important section. Then you can add experience and education, projects, your Salesforce certifications, profile videos that would make your profile stand out. If you can record like a five minute video maximum about yourself, and how you would like to plant yourself in the Salesforce ecosystem and how can you see yourself, um, you know, participating and helping out any organizations that are willing to welcome you. And here you have specializations on what you have been exposed with, like the sales cloud for sure, service cloud, maybe you've experienced community cloud or even marketing cloud and things like that. This is industrial experience. What kind of industry you've been experienced, um, exposed with previously? So if you've exposed with the, me for myself, I've been in the nonprofit sector for quite a long time. Before that, I'm in the web hosting industry. So things having to do with servers, um, things like that, networks I'm very comfortable with, and also development, software development. So industry experience is more of the industry. Nonprofit um, is the industry, or maybe you have exposed exposure in the health um, system or education system or government, whatever, right? And this is your social profile, lastly, your Facebook link, LinkedIn link, Twitter, or whatever you have. Okay, let's get on. So I'm going to fill this up. This is pretty straightforward. I'm going to fill my details. Jimmy, Tanzil, and this is your, you can hover there. This will be your display name on the side. So I'm going to name this my full name. All right, you can hover on the question mark here at your per hour rate. So you can decide your per hour rate, but for now, let's focus on the details. You can also always modify that. For me, I'm going to maybe enter $70 an hour. This is, if you delete that, you see the number one, you delete that. Your service maximum hourly rate, maybe put $100 there. And if you delete the number one there, add your tagline here. I'm going to put um, Salesforce application architect salesforce developer and advanced admin mistype okay so here is the paragraph about yourself i hope you already have an existing resume which you can copy and paste to, or you can write your own, um, you know, profile. So I'm going to copy my existing um, resume, which is this guy. So I'm going to copy this from my resume. You will be able to upload your own, um, your, your, your ready resume like this into the profile. You, we will see it together. So I'm going to paste there. And of course, don't put too much stuff. Nobody wants to read so many paragraphs. They will just scan of, uh, what you have there. Uh, I mean, employer. So don't put too much stuff. Just highlights of your profile. All right. Moving on. Languages. This is your um, English. So I'm, I can speak English for sure. Maybe you can speak other languages. I can speak Indonesian because I'm from Indonesia. And English level, I would say I'm um, professional. 
um, talent type you can choose mentor if you want to mentor other um, salesforce talents or intern or certified professional maybe you're just interested in getting projects and jobs so for example i'm just gonna choose myself as an intern okay then put your photo select photo and i have my my file here ready jimmy circle so that's uploading and then gallery photo just skip this for now i don't think i'm going to display this on your profile um, display here resume this is important i hope you have an existing resume ready for upload you can upload pdfs or uh, word documents so select file i have one here and open so employers can download your resumes and see what you have there all right so my location um i'm just gonna put um, canada and then here i'm gonna delete that address i'm just gonna put langley bc so like so for now so if you see this one 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 just delete so you can see uh, what is required to enter there so latitude longitude i'm going to skip that my skills so we have preloaded skills here but you can add your own for example i'm going to say i'm an application architect there add skills um the value so value of this skill i'm just going to say um I'm just gonna do that at skills 100% so you can also create your own skill if you want there that's not listed here okay and add the value it should total combine to 100% all right so we have just one for now and I think I'm good for now I'm gonna save and update all right now you can see this is updated with uh, whatever you have entered into the profile and now if you hit the view my profile you can see the public view will be like so so salesforce application architect salesforce developer and advanced admin so this comes from the top here okay this is your tagline okay that translate to this and then your hourly rate and then where you are and then people can save your profile employers can save your profile and here is your profile so don't put too much too much stuff here this is just an overview and then employer can send an offer to you if they have a project um, they want you to review or if they want to hire you or recruit you maybe you are an intern like me and they wanna they can hire you and and then also employers can download uh, the resume and see your skills and talents there so that's the basic main thing you have to complete okay um once you've done that contact me email me jimmy at zone.io and i will turn on your public profile to be searchable on the website once you are turned on you won't see that notice anymore so that's the first tab okay if you want to go deeper you can enter your experience and education but this is also already available on your resume right if you've uploaded your resume you have all your details already here so you don't need to re-enter everything but if you want you can because if you enter it here, it will also show up on your profile if there are information over there. Projects, you've already listed this in your resume as well, but you can outline them on here. You can add a project and then add a title. You can edit the project there, right? Like so. Awards and certifications, you can definitely add your awards and certifications. So let me try if... um salesforce certified application architect and then if i see here i scroll up here 
And that would be January 19, 2019. So January 19, 2019. January 19, 2019. And you can put your image file. Um, maybe you can download. You, you will receive an email, right? Whenever you complete a certification, you will receive an email from Salesforce about your badge or your, your certificate. Or you can Google it like Salesforce Certified Application Architect. And then go to images here. There. You can use this image, something like that, and they can check your certification, right? So I'm going to save image as and put it on my profile here. Um, Salesforce, cert, Salesforce Certified Application Architect, and PNG. I'm going to save that, and then I can upload it here. There. One. So I'm going to save and update that. All right, so now if I go to my profile again, let's see if that comes up. There, awards and certification, Salesforce application architect, um, and it's showed there. So you can keep adding it. Well, it, it'll be cool, right? If you are actually certified, keep adding it. So uh, the process would be you would add each certification onto there so you have uh, employers saw um, your certifications path there without having to download your resume first yeah please do upload them okay so please do list your certifications there and then videos this is important to stand out um, amongst other talents in this um, zone ecosystem Please add your videos, a five minute video, and then you can upload it to YouTube and paste your URL there, okay? Your specialization, skill set specialization, you can hit, um, yeah, if you wanna add, I have experience, um, sales cloud for sure. Um, let's add, well, the thing is you have to keep adding the percent value here, right? Well, I'm just going to add maybe 50 there because I want to add other stuff, right? Oops, I'm going to change this to NPSP 25. And then I'm going to add Service Cloud 25. Well, that's already 100%, right? Maybe 10. <laughs> um, I'm going to add Community Cloud as well. Government Cloud, Community Cloud, 10%. And I'm going to add marketing cloud, uh, marketing cloud, maybe how many percent do we have left? 5%, 5% there. And add specialization, specialization and save and update. And industrial experience as well. I'm going to click there and you can add, um, I have religious, which is a nonprofit I'm involved with, maybe 70%. And then um, victim services, I've victim support, um, 10%. Maybe, what else? Let me think. Um, um, community or something like consumer civic association. International human rights, yeah, maybe like let's choose that. Maybe so 20% like that, right? So that's my industrial experience. So I'm going to save and update there. And you can also add your social profile here. Facebook link, um, LinkedIn link, whatever you want to add that's available there. Now once that's ready, uh, you can refresh your public profile here. See what's updated over here. So we have spe specialization. We have industrial experience. We don't have any videos yet. When you upload your videos, it will also have um, available there. So basically, uh, whatever you're building on your profile over here, right? It will show up on your public profile over there, which what 
the employers will see. Okay, so please do complete the video. I am going to start inviting, inviting a lot of organizations in 2021 to, you know, scout for untapped Salesforce talents on the zone.io platform. So huge organizations, small to medium-sized organizations that are on Salesforce, there are thousands upon thousands of them, and I'm going to invite these organizations to look for your profile and contact you and maybe offer a possible permanent employment remote from home or contract or internship, you know, so please do make yourself available. Work on this, finish it before 2021. 2021, I'm gonna start inviting these organizations to tap into our platform so that you, my friend, can be linked to the Salesforce ecosystem and, and plant yourself and grow and grow and grow. All right, all the best and will be in touch. Bada bing, bada boom.